Teach Me Grappling. I'm back, finally. I've been gone for a little while. I just opened my uh, my new facility, Peterson Grapplers, but now it's time to show you the splatle. Uh, this is it right here. It's a wrestling move. Um, it's used to pin people in wrestling, but uh, it's also a way to submit someone as long as they're not incredibly flexible. Uh, a lot of jujitsu guys are, so you may not be able to tap everybody, but either way, you can you can out position them using the splatle, and uh, you can get some other clever positions out of it, and uh, it's worthwhile. So my opponent has a single leg. His head is on the inside. It's very important you guys understand that the head is on the inside. And a lot of times when a guy has a single leg, he attempts to circle around. He wants to take his leg and then hook your leg on the outside. Happens a lot off of takedowns or sweeps. He'll hook your leg and then he'll drive and take you down. So it's a common situation. Um, everybody should be familiar with that. So when a guy has a single leg, however he gets there, what I'm going to do is, instead of having a wizard like you normally do, I'm going to bring it across. So instead of the normal wizard, I'm going to bring it across and I'm going to hook on the inside of his thigh. This looks a lot like a wrestler's switch, except when you do a switch, his head is not on the inside. Different ways of locking. I can grip on his shin bone. I can pull his thigh. I can lock my hands uh, with a gable grip or palm to palm. I got to make sure that I pull it in tight so his head gets stuck on the inside of my thigh. So my opponent usually wants to pull the leg in tight. He doesn't want your leg to sprawl and get away. So he, at first he's holding it tight. Once I grab his leg and I sandwich him in like an accordion, I pull him in tight. He should be stuck on that leg. Now he wants to progress. And a lot of times guys will try to step over and hook your ankle. So that's a good thing for you. So I'm going to let him hook my ankle. I want him to take me down. So when he steps over and hooks the ankle, he's caught in the spladle. Um, High level wrestlers will understand this position and they'll realize it's a no-no, but a lot of jiu-jitsu guys won't be aware of it. I pull the guy into the splatle. He's already caught. He's in the, uh, he's in the little trap. Um, I've got my left leg over his leg. I want to make sure it's, you know, his leg is hooked behind my knee. My other leg is going to double up. Instead of locking my legs like a triangle, I'm actually going to double up. And then I've got the one arm under my left and then my right hand, I'm going to grab the heel. Pulling on the heel, I'm going to bridge my hips and then I'm going to, you know, squeeze and pull his leg towards me and get a tap. Now, some guys are ultra flexible. They will not tap to this. They'll laugh at you. But uh, you're never going to be trying this on Ryan Hall okay, or Jeff Glover. So good options. You can also switch right to a Kimura. It's right there in front of you. Try to release the leg and you're in a nice uh, Kimura position where your opponent can't go the other way. He can only turn into you and then when he does... You take his back. This is a common um, common game that's very, very popular nowadays using the Kimura. So you can flow right into that position. So he goes for the single leg. I'm going to bring my arm inside. Notice I'm grabbing on the inside of the shin. I'm going to move my body and then switch my legs. That way I, I put my leg up, letting him hook it. And then now he's trapped in the splatle. By the way, the splatle is also called uh, the pretzel hold, depending on where you're from. People have a lot of different names. Uh, when I was first brought up, I was told it was, we called it the Pooper Scooper. So funny name, the Pooper Scooper, but uh, uh, the most common name that I know of is the, uh, is the Splatle. So you can take the back, you know, if, if you can't tap the guy. There's lots of entries too. So I, I keep showing this entry. This is probably the easiest ent entry that I like to teach. Uh, again, going for the leg and then, uh, you know, letting the opponent hook your leg. Now, if I use the splato and I knock my opponent on his side, okay, I've got to make sure that I keep him in, and I want to put my left leg in between his legs. So in order to do that, if I chase after him, he'll run away, and you don't want him to run away. So the key is not to go after him. Instead, you got to bring him to you. And the way you do that is you're going to pull the heel. So that'll stretch his hamstrings. That'll bring his other leg closer. The more I pull that, I'll be able to step in between his legs with my left leg, okay? Just as so, and then I can tip him right back into the splatle, okay? Now there are situations when you hit a splatle um, where you won't be able to tap him and, and I'll try by ducking it. And then you notice if I bring my left arm through, what I, another common finish I like to do is then just control his hips like this and then I pull him into a leg drag. So. If you're a fan of leg dragging, which I am, you're going to be able to go right into it. You notice the arm triangle or possibly side control. 
um, that's another great finish for the spladel um, when you can't tap someone that's flexible. If the opponent shoots from the feet and he, you know, controls your leg, it's the same situation. Okay, I'm going to bring my left hand inside, knock my opponent on his hip using the, the attack of the spladel, pull his leg close and step between his legs, catch him in the, uh, in the web, and then he's caught. Switch to a kimura, maybe take his back, maybe kimura him, lots of different finishes from there. Again, just showing the most basic, which is the back take. Lots of splato entries. I'm not going to show every single splato entry, but um, you know, when you're standing, guy picks your leg up. You know, you have an opportunity with your leg between his legs. I go to hook the the leg, and my left leg just needs to hook that other leg and hit a nice little roll, and he's caught in the trap. Okay, very fun move. Very you know, hot dog move. You pull this off on someone. It's sure to get some uh, some laughs and some oohs and ahs. So, a long time ago, Joe Stevenson was able to catch uh, someone in the UFC. If I'm not mistaken, I, I want to say it was Nate Diaz, but I, I can't really remember. Um, anyway, a lot of times when you're in half guard on top and the opponent gets the underhook, they'll come up, you know, and, and they will come up on around the waist. You may be darcing them, you may be attacking them from here. So sometimes they'll, when you're pulling your leg through, they'll come up on a single leg. And this is a good time because your leg is already between their legs. This is a very good time to kind of hook that, that same situation. If you notice, the opponent wants to come up. And uh, in order to come up, he can't just get up with his left leg hooking your leg. He wants to take his right leg and cover your ankle. Okay, so that you don't get away and sprawl. So when you're driving your knee for a knee slice, a lot of times... He'll take his leg and he'll hook your leg. And when he hooks your leg, that means he can bottom leg out and then get on up. And when he does, that's a perfect time to put in the spladel. Okay. Again, just right there, I slide my hand in and then I can either roll or I can pull him backward and put him right in the spladel, catch him, make him look silly and stupid. All right. Teach me grappling. Thank you guys so much for all the subscribers. We just hit 10,000. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and don't forget, if you want to master it, get after it. Teach me grappling. Stay tuned for more to come.